Does this look okay? It's been a while since I filmed here. Hi, Dirty Forkers. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is TK. I live in Los Angeles. I just turned 26. I just went through a quarter life crisis, but now we're out. Currently really into Diet Coke and Poppy and swimming and pretending I'm a mermaid and dolphins and guys over six feet. I truly feel like I've been vibing and thriving this summer. This is one of the best summers I've had in years, if not ever. I've been feeling a lot of gratitude, especially with you guys. And like being able to do this as a job is such a fucking privilege that I will never take for granted. I wake up every day and I'm like, holy shit, I can't believe I get to make my own schedule. I I get to film content about whatever I want and edit and upload it and use all my strengths to do so. Like that is bananas to me. I'm not trying to say this to be like, oh, I get to do this and you don't. I hope that you take it as holy fuck. I want to be able to do that or like as inspiration. If I can do that, because I was in your shoes like five seconds ago. Who the fuck is texting me? I've always watched YouTubers with the sense of being like, holy fuck, I'm so happy for them. I hope that can happen to me one day. Everything I share with you guys is with the intention of hopefully motivating someone, inspiring someone, showing that a girl like me who grew up in the Midwest and had zero connections to LA can make it, whatever that means to you. I'm just beyond grateful to have the, the life that I have. I also am confident in saying that I've worked my ass off. I'm not taking it for granted. Even every day and I'm like in this apartment, I'm like, Look, like this could all go away tomorrow and it scares the shit out of me, but it also fuels my fire and lights a fire under my ass. I don't know, I feel like I'm all over the place, but I was just in the mood to chat and wanted to share with y'all that I'm just grateful. I feel like just the last year was a tough one for me. I was so unsure of myself and I've never felt unsure of myself in my life. Like I have always known what I wanted when it comes to men, when it comes to my favorite color, when it comes to what I want at a restaurant, I am decisive. I was in the gray zone and nothing was black or white. It was like so gray. I felt like I was just so confused and had a lack of direction and wasn't motivated, wasn't inspired, wasn't happy with myself, wasn't taking care of myself, wasn't confident, wasn't taking care of my body, was insecure was jealous, like, I don't know. I feel like there was just like a lot of things going on and I was kind of letting myself go and because I was so confused and that's okay. Like if you're there right now, like that's totally fine. Honestly, embrace it. I feel like I was trying to fight against it for so long. I wish I would have just embraced it, dealt with it and then moved on. This summer I made a lot of promises to myself that I have been keeping up with. I really wanted to be active. I really wanted to go to the beach, swim, get a natural tan. Like girl, look at my tan right now. Travel, like hang out with people outside of my comfort zone. Like the fact that I've been to Venice Run Club is like, insane like the fact that i have gone what three or four times and i've run the four and a half miles is mind-boggling to me i don't know i'm just all about celebrating the small things i also have totally cut back on drinking i have a way better work-life balance i have a way better relationship with food i feel like i was restricting myself so much and it's so funny because like the second i stopped restricting i like started seeing results i have a great relationship with the gym i'm really happy with friendships that i am making and you know, the bubble I'm getting outside of. I don't wanna surround myself with people that are just like me 24 seven. I love my friends, I'm so grateful for them, but I think it's important to branch out and challenge yourself with another POV or challenge yourself with someone that's totally opposite from you. I feel like I even did that with dating. Like I kind of dated or was seeing someone that was just like so out of my comfort zone. I never in a million years like would have swiped on him, but like I'm glad I got that experience because now I know that I don't ever want that again. I just am in a really great spot and I'm just so grateful. It'll never get old and I hope I look back on this one day. Why I'm getting emo. Look back on this one day and like smile and think, holy shit, like you were living the dream. I don't know why I'm getting so emo. It's because my period's happening. I feel like I've been really active on everything lately. Like I'm back on my YouTube grind. I've been grinding on TikTok and I'm growing on TikTok, which feels amazing. As a creator, I feel like I've plat I plateaued last year, which is a part of like my spiral too. I posted a bunch on Instagram today. I brought the polls back, which felt amazing. And I also asked if you guys had any questions because I've been just like wanting to chat with you guys. And one of my goals this year was to like 
build a stronger community and you know a stronger relationship with in the community I already have. I want to nurture that relationship more because I'm so lucky to even have that. So I've been wanting to chat with y'all more. Oh, I'm also, this summer I've been like so fucking into Taylor Swift. Like you guys, she lives rent free in my head. I went to the two concerts with Love Wellness and Revolve and I have never been more grateful in my life. <sighs> Like I literally think about her every day, every morning, every night before I go to bed. Made everyone in my family sign up to get the Indianapolis show tickets. None of us got a code. It's fine. I'm still gonna go somehow. I'm manifesting it. Also, my skin has cleared up. I'm trying to think of other life updates. I also have been dressing, I feel like a lot more my age and it's like more elevated. I've elevated my style. I'm redecorating my apartment. Like I feel like I'm just like in a groove right now. Okay, so let's go into these questions. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Holy fuck, okay. it's. 2023 so it'll be 2033 and I'm 26 so I'll be 36 that's like in my head like I can't even imagine being 36 like I'm so sorry if you're in your 30s or older like that just feels so fucking old to me <laughs> like I feel old right now as a 26 year old I'm so sorry I'm not meaning to offend anyone this is just my opinion of myself I cannot even fathom, like, I feel 16. I can't imagine being 36. Anyway, whatever. I picture myself being married. I picture myself living in a house with a big yard and a pool and a golden retriever. I picture myself with one to two kids by then. I picture myself financially stable. I picture myself happy, being really focused and like obsessed with my children and like being really involved in like family shit versus like work stuff. I picture myself traveling with my husband when we get a free week or two and having like my parents or his parents watch the kids while we're gone. I picture myself making content, not like with my kids in it, but surrounding my kids like making lunches how I prep things like taking them, them to the park I can't imagine myself like showing their faces though let's do like fun stuff what do I picture myself driving probably like a big Range Rover like the big mom one with like car seats in it owning a Chanel bag <laughs> I'm like manifesting like some bougie things I picture myself going on date nights and like going to fun like galas and charity events and weddings and stuff with my husband. I picture myself hosting a lot of like play dates, birthdays, kids things, bonfires, wine nights with parents. I picture myself taking orange slices to my kids' soccer practices, things like that. Tips on body image and not comparing yourself to others slash being jealous of others. Okay, as far as like comparing yourself to others and being jealous to, of others, I know this is easier said than done, but like comparing yourself to others specifically online is actually so fucking dumb. Because like today I was editing a video from when I was in Italy, right? And it was crazy because I was cutting like all the bad angles out of myself and there's like one good angle of me in a bikini and I like left it in there. And like in my head I was like, this is so fucked up that like, all the other footage, like people are gonna be like, damn, like TK looks good, when really it was just like that one second. Like, I know I'm a part of the problem, like cutting that out, the not as good parts or whatever, but at least I'm not using like the filters face tune. I've never used any of that shit. You just have to think about it like logically, like, no, it's so fucking dumb to compare yourself to anyone on the internet because they're only posting their best one second angle. You know what I mean? Also, you have to keep in mind, like so much of your body is genetics and you can't change it. Like I am never going to look like Emrata. You know what I mean? I am never going to look like Kim K. I'm never going to look like Candace, like the Victoria's Secret model or whatever, because that's just not in my family tree. That's not in my bone structure. I'm literally five, six. Like these girls are so tall, so thin, but like naturally. I feel like I used to be like, oh, what's like Emrata's or like Alexa Sren's like workout. And it's like, if I did their workout every day, I'm still not gonna look like that. Never compare yourself to anyone online. A lot of it is genetics. I think another thing is just just like zoom out a little and realize that there's so many other bigger issues in the world and we are so lucky to be alive, healthy, breathing. We're so lucky to be able to walk down the street. We are so lucky to have access to food, stuff like that. When I find myself spiraling, I like try to zoom out and like 
write a list of the things I'm grateful of and then it makes my stupid little spiral like comparing moment seem really dumb. And then the other thing that makes me feel really confident and just good in my body is like working out, being fit, pushing myself in the gym, getting my steps in, being active, fueling myself with healthy food. But I don't restrict anymore. And I swear the second I started to find a little balance in my food, I started seeing results. Also, no one's perfect and no one is like, looking at you the way you're looking at yourself. How do you keep motivation high? I think it's a lot easier to keep motivation high when you're on a good track. Like consistency and discipline is huge because then that keeps you kind of at a baseline to like always keep you motivated or it just like holds yourself accountable. I think it helps when you surround yourself with people that are like cheerleaders for you, making small goals that you can hit and use as momentum. I'm really big on, on momentum. I also love reflecting. I love journaling. I love writing lists and just like keeping up to date on what I have been doing slash what I'm working towards and making like little promises to myself and actually keeping the promises. Like, okay, I wanna wake up at 7.30 tomorrow. I wanna wake up at seven and like actually doing it. Shit like that just like makes me happy and helps me set a base for motivation to happen. Advice for girls who are shy about intimacy slash hookup culture. Well, the first thing that you need to think about like when you're hooking up with anyone is like, they're so fucking lucky to be in this situation with you. Like the game of getting to the bedroom, it's like such an accomplishment to get to that point to even happen. Like, trust me from a male perspective, I assume with women too, in a hetero relationship is what I'm referring to, but I'm assuming this is the same with girls and girls. Like they are so fucking happy to just be in that moment. Like they are not thinking or worried about like, you and your body. If anything, they're worried about what you think of them. Everyone is selfish and narcissistic and is thinking about like, do I look good from this angle? Are they liking this? Like, do they like me? Do they think I'm hot? Like, that's what people are thinking. Trust me, no one in bed or like that you're hooking up with is thinking about anyone or anything but themselves. You have to remind yourself, they're not thinking about you. They're thinking about them. Another thing I would say is like, it's kind of a dance. I think like, enjoy it, go with the rhythm or go with the cadence of the hookup. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Communication is key. Encouraging someone in the bedroom is really important. Being like, oh, that was great. Or you're really good at that. Or I really liked that. Things like that are really helpful. There's so many like forums or advice on dating and like how you should be in the bedroom or like uh, even movies. The reality is, is like no hookup is like actually like that. And every hookup or relationship is gonna be different because it's with different people and you guys have a different relationship. And that's totally okay if it's not like what the movies are. I think another thing to realize that I think a lot of girls struggle with, including myself or like I used to, is this is a two way street and you deserve just as much of a fun time as they do. So don't worry about just pleasing them. You are supposed to also be pleased. So be confident in that. Like, don't be shy about that. And honestly, if a guy doesn't please you first, he's fucking weird. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> have fun and be safe. If you don't feel comfortable, trust your gut, make up an excuse. You can leave. There's been multiple times where I'm like, nah, I'm not feeling this. It's not that deep. Everyone has these situations and it's never perfect, but have fun and be safe and wear protection. <laughs> what T-Swift era are you in right now? This is really hard. Low key, I feel like I'm kind of in my debut era because this is like the first time I feel like in my life I've ever put me first. And it's like the first time I've worked, I've been working for myself. I'm betting on myself right now. And I feel like that's what Taylor did with debut. Like she really put her album out there and really um, took a plunge. Many albums and eras to come for TK. What is your biggest pet peeve? I think when people are like closed minded, that drives me fucking nuts. Or it's a pet peeve of mine when people don't seem engaged in the conversation, like they're on their phone or they're like looking around the room or they're not asking questions. I think that's really rude. So I feel like because I'm a host, I'm very aware of like how I'm carrying the conversation versus like the other person just like conversing when they feel it will benefit them or something like that. Next travel destination. I'm going this weekend to the Outer Banks and then to Miami for my manager's bachelorette. I'm going to the Outer, the Outer Banks for my friend Margaret's. 30th birthday. Are you dating anyone? No, but I want to be. I think I want a boyfriend right now. Have you watched The Summer I Turned Pretty? Yeah, I fucking love it. I think the first season is way better than 
the second season though. And honestly, Conrad and Jeremiah both kind of annoy me, but I also both kind of like them. I don't know, I'm conflicted. Are you guys team Conrad or Jeremiah? I need to know. How's dating going? Honestly, I haven't like made it a priority lately. I probably should. I don't know. I just want to meet someone in person. I don't like LA guys. I want a guy with Midwest values, but like LA success. <laughs> Does that make sense? Not even like LA success in the sense like, oh my God, like they buy tables at one oak. Like I've just like I feel like people in LA are very hardworking and like nice things and I like that about someone. I also like when people are aware of like what's going on in my world but not like clout chasey energy like they don't know too much they just know enough to like be able to converse about it. I love an athletic guy. I need to like actually try on the apps more but the problem is on the apps is like I don't find anyone to be attractive and I am such a people person and it's hard to like converse over an app. I'm like sick and tired of complaining about it or even talking about it but if you guys have anyone you want to set me up with let me know I'm down. I want to be set up or I want to meet someone in the wild. Your current gym running routine. I go to F45 I would say like three to four to five times a week it really depends. Sometimes I'll sprinkle in like a core power yoga, a sauna session, a stairmaster session at my gym. On Wednesdays once a week I go to Venice Run Club which is a four and a half mile run. I do like going on lots of hot girl walks and hikes. I want to start running more though. I love to do like that four and a half mile run and then maybe like a six mile run on my own got a slower pace and then like maybe a three mile run throughout the week so I need to figure out where to implement that and I'd also like to implement some Pilates because I feel like I'm doing like so many like hardcore things I need to like stretch myself out and do like little mo movements because that Pilates shit is hard. Are there any plans for a future meet and greet? Actually yes potentially something that's similar to a live podcast I don't know but I hope you guys come. Would you be interested, by the way, in a live podcast show? If I did one, would you come? Please comment down below if you would come to begin with. And two, like, where do you live? Where should I come to? Like Indianapolis, Chicago, Nashville, Los Angeles, New York. Would you ever do a meetup in Bloomington? I mean, I'm down. I feel like I would probably do it in Indianapolis, but I would be down to do one in Bloomington. Look at the clear skin, help a girl out. Honestly, it really is the medication that I'm taking. And I swear like not being as stressed out, taking care of my body, drinking water, the dumb shit that everyone says, but like, it's like kind of hard to do. Also, I try and get facials like once a week. And honestly, I think being outside and getting a little sun, like not a ton, like you don't want to like fry your skin at all. Honestly, keep your face out of the sun, but I think being outside and like sweating and just being active is like good for your skin and just like your overall mental and physical being too. What's your Mount Rushmore of books? I would say Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Malibu Rising, Verity, Atomic Habits, I think. What's your favorite Bloomington bar? Probably Kilroy's on Kirkwood. I mean, it's just a classic, you know? What are you struggling with right now? Honestly, I'm struggling with getting my YouTube videos up like as fast as possible. I feel like I still take way too long to get them up. Zumba Girl said, not a question. I just want to say I love you. Zumba Girl 445, I love you. Five things everyone in their early 20s should know. Say yes to everything, get a side hustle, date as much as possible, like to get experience, take as many jobs as possible to get experience, travel. How to stay disciplined working at home nine to five. I think you need to make little rewards and like things to keep up with, like a system, like wake up, immediately do your journal, then schedule when you're gonna go to the gym or get out of the gym. Sometimes when I'm working from home all day, I really like to go to the gym at like noon. Cause then that gets me out of the house and it's a good break. Get ready, do your skincare routine. Like you don't have to do full, like a full beat, but like get ready, get out of your pajamas, make your coffee, make your water. Like, I don't know. I just do like, I think the little things matter and don't get distracted by your phone or social media or like just little stupid things. Like instead reward yourself with actual useful things. And honestly, you're only hurting yourself if you're like not getting your work done, comparing yourself, scrolling all day. Like it's only hurting you. I would also schedule in there like an hour or two to like call a friend while you're cleaning. So that way you get some socializing and like to run to the grocery store in the middle of the day or whatever. It's Cause like sometimes I go crazy when I'm alone working by myself all day. What editing program slash apps do you use? For YouTube, I use Final Cut and for TikTok, I use Final Cut a lot. And then I also for TikTok, use sometimes CapCut, 
but mainly video leap, sometimes the TikTok app. And then for thumbnails, I use Photoshop. Biggest green flag in a guy. Probably if he's a Swifty. I wanna do one last thing and run through the polls that I posted today and answer those. The first question is, how are you feeling with life right now? The options are happy, anxious, uninspired, and motivated. I would honestly say happy, which is crazy. 43% of y'all said anxious. That was the most amount. It, it went anxious, uninspired, happy, and then motivated. I also do feel motivated, which is interesting because I'm in the 8%. Next one is time of day you're most productive, morning, night, or afternoon. Definitely morning for me, and then second would be night, and then thirdly would be afternoon, which is exactly the rankings of the majority. What are you looking forward to? A trip, a weekend, a hot date, hanging with friends. I would say my trip. Most people said the weekend. What hobby interests you the most? Painting, pickleball, scrapbooking, book club. I think pickleball. I guess I don't play it as much as I would like to. The number one thing was book club, and then pickleball, then painting, then scrapbooking. What do you want to do more of before summer ends? Tan, go to the beach, hike, or just be outside? Honestly, for me, just be outside, which is the number one. Fave summer drink, poppy, diet coke, lemonade, and seltzer. I'm gonna go poppy. Although, I just love poppy. I think it's so fucking good, especially like the root beer sled. What do you wish you had more time for? Reading, working out, hanging with family, or cleaning? I would say hanging with family just because I don't have like any family here besides my brother, so it's like hard to get home, so it it's like, time consuming to fly home. So yeah, I would say hanging with family and then probably breeding. Number one thing was working out. Favorite way to date, hinge, meet in the wild, be set up or DM. I would say meet in the wild or be set up. Which book is your favorite? Seven Husbands, Atomic Habits, It Ends With Us or Verity. I'm gonna go Seven Husbands. I mean, it is just so good. Favorite way to pass time, watch a show, TikTok, YouTube or read. I would say watch a show or read just because I think it's healthier for me. And then I would probably say TikTok and YouTube are like the same to me. What do you need right now? Hope, motivation, peace, or help, LOL. I wanna say help. I feel like I need help with like running my email. I'm like toying with the idea of hiring a personal assistant, but also I need help with scheduling guests for my podcast show. I just need help like expanding. I need help with even more editing. Like I need help with like so many different things. So yeah, I just need help. <laughs> Majority said motivation and then peace and then help and then hope. What do you wanna be better at? Communicating, asking for help, discipline or consistency? I would say consistency like with my YouTube channel or just with my expectations for myself. The number one thing was consistency. What stops you from dating? Fear of rejection, too time consuming, losing hope, LOL, single and thriving. I would say too time consuming and losing help. <laughs> Number one thing was fear of rejection. What do you want to work on? Mental health, fitness, social life, work-life balance. I feel like mental health. Number one was fitness. What are you enjoying the most right now? Alone time, partying, being active, traveling. Alone time for me. Never thought I would say that. What do you need the most right now? Botox, money, sex, therapy. Probably sex or therapy. I'm a sucker for a rom-com, a man over six feet, candy, or boobs. I would say a man over six feet and candy. Anyway, I love y'all so much. Thank you for sending me these questions and let me know if you guys want me to do another Q&A soon. Be sure to make someone else's day this week and peace out. Love you. Subscribe to my podcast channel and leave us five stars and a rating and review because that would mean the world to me. Love y'all. Bye.